Early on in the, in the Rumble Bell relationship, there were a lot of hallmarks of impending domestic abuse. He had her isolated from friends and family. He was ultimately really nice and a complete bastard to her. Um, and she was like, I'm going to save him. He can be redeemed. Um, and a lot of that has sort of gone How away. was he a bastard to What? How was he a bastard to D- Making her clean the curtains on that... I mean, seriously. He and did. Yes, he did catch her. me. Though. Yes, he did. Though, yes, right he away. did. But give it so, a pillow <laughs> and a, a chip cup. And so, and, chip cup. and so now um, that seems to have gone away. Is he really safe with her? Is she really safe with him? No, I don't think anyone is. I think that he's the problem with with, with Rumpel with Gold. He's, a, he's an addict, you know. He's addicted to this. The dagger, the power, the magic, whatever it is. And he's been practicing that for hundreds of years. So I don't think that means to say that he doesn't mean the things that he says. I think he does. I think he loves Bell more than anything. But uh, on the other hand, it's very, very difficult to give up. You know, a leopard doesn't change his spots certainly not overnight. And I think this relationship's got a long way to go <laughs> before it comes out the other end. Emily, is love blind? Does she begin to, or how will she begin to realize what's going on? No, I don't think love is blind. I think she believes he loves her. I think the, the gesture, which, you know, as we get into the start of the season, she doesn't know what's happening. Um, I think it's going to mortify her because she knows that he's always going to have that past and there's always going to be an element of that in him. But I think that there's such a huge gesture of giving her the dagger is, I mean, that's... For her, well, you're not really doing it. Huge. And it really does let her believe in him completely for a minute. <laughs> and a half. And a half. How is their relationship at the, at the beginning of the season? I know you guys have only shot a couple of episodes, but can you give us an idea? Of, are they okay? Is... We're okay. So far, so good. <laughs> uh, one and a half in, and we're okay. But it's, it's not good. I mean, already, there's already been a relapse. Like old, so we say. So uh, he's, he's already kind of dig, digging a hole even deeper for himself. Which so I, I don't think know about now. You don't know about yet. But I think this, no, this, this relationship will, this season will stretch the relationship to its absolute breaking point. It really has to. I think it'll be interesting to see whether they can actually live with each other or without each other. I think. I hope. Okay. <laughs> How has he been transformed by dealing with his father? Um, or has he been? Was that not enough of a lesson? I don't think so. I think that, of course, you know, when he, when he does the kind of disturbing thing with, with Pan and he goes back into some kind of netherworld, whatever he was. Uh, the first thing that happens to him is he comes out and he meets the Wicked Witch of the West at that, that, and he's straight back into that world. So I don't think there's been enough time that's passed by to get, let him think or, or, or ponder. I think it's just he's straight, straight into where he's always been. How much, inter- how much interaction do your characters have with the new Frozen characters? So far, nothing. I mean, uh, I'm going to do my first scene with Elsa on Wednesday coming up. So that'll be, that'll be interesting. And I don't know yet. And he's already lying. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Belle has really um, been able to, she's had some time by herself now within the larger community um, and has started to define herself as separate from him. Um, so where do you see her going with that? Where does she want to be within this community? I think she's really trying to integrate herself. I think it's, I think she's always been a very strong young woman, but um, also maybe there's a small sense of relief that she didn't have to, you know, constantly drag you in and, mm-hmm. in, a, in, a, in, a, in a good way, mm-hmm. if she wanted to, but also maybe giving herself some space and time, mm-hmm. learning about herself more, because you know, she was, she was away for a long time. <laughs> A lot of time to think, but probably not. Um, a lot of books to read. A lot of books. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to the library for a long time. No, 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 no.